Connections if you're new on my channel you are so welcome and you know what on this channel we do share DIY research DIY products which we make at home and we also formulate natural hair and body products we also uh, talk about crust like lifestyle maybe you are trying to know God more and you're struggling so all these things are on this channel and we also like to formulate uh, body products like it's very possible to have flawless skin without using any toxic ingredients so like if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel you can click on that red subscribe button and subscribe today because we don't want you to miss all those good videos yes so that every time we post you'll be notified and, and make sure that you click on that bell yes to my 48 subscribers i really appreciate you guys for your love and your support god bless you and to all my viewers who watch my videos i appreciate you too for your support and your love i know that one day you're going to subscribe so like uh, in today's video i'm going to show you how i stretch my natural hair like naturally i'm trying to grow out my hair and i don't use any direct heat on my hair so like i've been doing african braid i've been doing a flat twist and i've also tried uh, rubber bands so like um i experienced different um like stretch and sometimes my hair gets wet so i'm trying to experiment like how the these things work so now today we are going to um do like on this side i'm going to do flat twist and on this side i'm going to do african fold and then we'll see how it works out so don't forget like um to like this part uh to like this video if uh, you think this is helpful and you are not lost you're on the right channel yes so without any further ado let's get right into our video Okay, so basically, I'm going to use uh, African thread, as you can see, yes. And um, I'm starting off on fresh washed hair. I did conditioning, you know, everything was done, and I've just started moisturizing my hair. Yes, so I'm getting a rattle comb, so I'm going to make a part at the middle. So now I'm just making a part. So we are going to do two sections. I'm going to just make a, a straight path from the front up to the end down. Yes. Actually, because... Uh, like I said earlier on, we need to do African thread on the other side. And on the other side, we are going to do um, flat twist. Okay, so, like, so just something um, very simple. Just a straight, like, um, yes, line.
done with the flat twist on the other side and so now on this side I'm going to do um, African thread so like I'm just going to use a rattle comb but uh, I decided to do away with the rattle comb so like um, it wasn't necessary like to make straight lines or patterns because um, you know, we just, we just want to stretch uh, our, our natural hair, so no need of being worried about um, the straight parts. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
So like dear friends, I have done 100 and this should be uh, 101 video and one of my subscriber and viewer like um, mentioned that this channel actually needs more viewers. I deserve more views, but uh, you know, we are getting there slowly, but my goal is to reach 100 subscribers. And then uh, we'll be going bit by bit 200, 500 until we reach 1000 subscribers yes so if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on that subscribe button today if you want to see more of this video then make sure that you subscribe so so now like um we are almost done doing our african thread yes like we can't wait to check um the disadvantages and advantages and which one is better than the other because usually i experience uh dry hair when i do african thread i don't know why but i will definitely find out what could be the reason so that is how it looks like very very simple yes i'm loving this experience that's the back You know, yes, so now at this point, like, um, I'm going to gather all the African freight together and uh, braid, it kind of, um, like, tie them with a thread. And then I'm going to do the same with the flat twist, like, I ju I'll just gather them together. It's time to go to bed. Make sure that you don't forget to put on your satin bonnet or silk bonnet or whatever gadget which you use. Yes. And then we're going to show you. So this is the following morning. You can even leave your braids in for two days for your hair to be stretched more. But, uh, you know, life happens. So we're just, we just left in for overnight. So I'm going in with avocado oil. Just like to make our hands... Um, kind of sleepy so that hair doesn't snag on our fingers so that we don't experience much breakage that's just my preference you don't have to do that if you so wish so now i'll start um on the side for um uh, african thread Thank you. 
so like i'll continue undoing these um twist uh, i mean uh african thread and on the other side i will do the same and then i will see how it looks like So now we are done i'm super super excited to tell you so like um on this side where i did a uh, flat twist like the hair is also soft as you can see and um it's quite more stretched yes but not very stretched my hair is quite um not that length yes but uh i don't care so like on the side where I did uh, African thread, the hair feels like um, dry kind of. I don't know, maybe it's because of the thread. Yes, so like um, I'll continue like um, using um, twist, flat twists. Yes, but of course I'm not going to give up on um, African thread. Yes, so which side do you think was okay? kindly uh, comment in the section below what you think bye bye thank you so much for watching my video god bless you